ndao ya nduna. Tobele wumpapuli. MEC wuduzuri za makanya. Profesa wulitokwa mpedi. Mayor Kansela wunenguda. Uh, acting chairperson wa alumni of mbiri wo matambele. SGB chairperson wo nechitabe. Pasta Dr. Wofarisani, Dr. Wonkumelini, Dr. Wombuba. Our principal and our mathematics teacher, Mr. Muroiwa. The current principal and our biology teacher, Mr. Lijade, who also was my standard nine biology teacher. Our male chief prefect, Mr. Katuchero Mamaila. Our female head prefect, Mrs. Chiwera Mutlandla. Our class prefect, Mr. Arwani Ramaburana. My 1989 classmates, my mother, Wokatuchero Marwara, my family members who are here and who are not here, Jabulile, Katuchero, Tendo, and Denga. I am glad to be back at Mbiri Secondary School, a school that is very close to my heart. I spent two years at this school. I did my standard nine and ten here. These days it is called grade 11 and 12. The logarithm of a number is a number to which the exponent must be raised to form a number. So said our principal, Wobro Iwa, who is here today. John Napier, the inventor of logarithms, would be impressed by the quality of mathematics education you gave us here. An opportunity of a lifetime must be seized in the lifetime of the opportunity. So said Leonard Ravenhill. It was at this school that I won the Science Olympiad at the age of 17 and traveled to England to attend the International Science Fortnight. I visited Cambridge, and our conference was held at Imperial College of the University of London. Little did I know then that just over 10 years later, I'll be graduating from the University of Cambridge with a PhD in Artificial Intelligence and starting my academic career as a postdoctoral research fellow at Imperial College in London. Mbiri is certainly a place where dreams are made and turned into concrete reality. Lenas, you have no excuse not to succeed because you have plenty of role models who have come from this school. You have no reason to yearn for mentors if Mr. Arwani Ramaburana is here. If Chiwera Mklantla is here, if Dr. Nkumereni is here, if Dr. Sidney Mampaga is here, if many other distinguished alumni are here, they I say, I am here. I have supervised 37 PhDs and 48 master students to completion. Furufero Neromondo was a learner here. He was my undergraduate research assistant, master student, and doctoral student. After his PhD graduation, he went on to Harvard University to become a postdoctoral fellow. Today, he is the chief executive officer of the National Research Foundation. Rendani Mbuba was a learner here at Mbiri. He was my PhD student. Today, he is a professor of actuarial science at West University and a Google DeepMind Fellow at Queen Mary University of London. Tendo Sigodi was my PhD student. He was a learner here. Today, he is a senior financial modeling specialist at the PIC. The list of influential Mbiri alumni is endless. I think Principal Wolijade who happened to be my standard nine biology teacher, we need to create a network of mentors. 
where we link deserving learners with mentors from our alumni database. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. So said the US President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. My journey has been an exciting one. I have lived overseas for nine years, first in the USA for four years, where I completed an undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering, then in England for four years, where I completed a PhD at Cambridge University and a postdoctorate at the University of London. Then the USA for the year where I was a visiting professor at Harvard University. I then worked for South African breweries. Stop brewing beer and start brewing people. So said a voice which became my Damascus moment. I left SAB to become a professor of electrical engineering at Vert University. I then spent 14 years at the University of Johannesburg. First as a Dean of Engineering, then as a Deputy Vice-Chancellor for Research, then as a Vice-Chancellor and Principal. Amongst my achievements at UJ is that I have made UJ 3.5 billion rands wealthier during my Vice-Chancellorship. I have also created two, more, two new more campuses. I leave UJ as the number one research university in South Africa which is ranked second in Africa according to the Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. I leave UJ under the capable hands of Professor Lee Tlokwa Mpedi, whom I have worked with as Deputy Dean, Dean of Law, and Deputy Vice Chancellor. The future is bright for UJ that I am blinded by the intensity of the light. The world out there is vast. And those who understand it are going to succeed. And those who do not understand it are going to fail. Therefore, it is essential that we create conditions for our learners to succeed. In applied mathematics, there is a concept called chaos theory, which is the study of random or unpredictable behavior in systems governed by deterministic laws in science. The butterfly effect outlines a deeply interconnected world in which one small occurrence can influence a much larger complex system. The butterfly complex is imagined with a butterfly flapping its wings and causing a typhoon or an earthquake elsewhere. The takeaway is that small events can serve as catalysts of big things. There is no dream big enough to be unrealizable. This was the Mbiri proverb during our time here. In 1800, Fichte wrote in the vocation of man, and I quote, you could not remove a single grain of sand from its place without thereby changing something throughout all parts of the immeasurable whole, close quote. When I gaze inwards and reflect on my journey, I am often reminded of this allegory of chaos theory. My journey began here, seemingly small, although as anyone connected to Mbiri Secondary School will tell you, great things often emerge from this space. My time at Mbiri has informed my journey. If we consider the United Nations as much as um, the much larger complex system, Mbiri is definitely my butterfly. In a sound of thunder, the classic science fiction writer Ray Bradbury describes it as a small thing that could upset balances and knock down a line of small dominoes and then big dominoes and then gigantic dominoes all down the years across time, close quote. If we are to place a more optimistic spin on this, my start at Mbiri has reverberated throughout my career. It has put into place the very mechanisms that have led me to this point. Often when I discuss my childhood, 
people are surprised about the opportunity and promise there was. From here at Mbiri Secondary School with teachers and principals who are here and who were there uh, when um, they, I was here. Many of my books, and I've written 27 books and one in Chinese, are informed by lessons learned here at Mbiri. Many of the solutions I have posited to some of our deepest challenges have found roots here. From an educational perspective, I never found myself wanting. Misconceptions about dusty classrooms and poor educational outcomes are often hurtled about. This is certainly not the case. The author Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie warns us of the danger of a single story. A single story makes use of the overly simplistic and sometimes false perceptions we form about individuals, groups, or countries. Biri, like schools in similar context, often fails false prey to the notion of the single story. Yet, it was here that I was exposed to some of the keenest minds I have ever encountered from incredibly diverse backgrounds. It was here that my interest in science, technology, and engineering were awakened. It was here that my journey to the United Nations University really began. It was here that I began to understand education as a truly transformational experience. I have transversed the world and education institutions throughout it, but it is here with the formation of my very identity that I learned many of the lessons I will cling to. The German psychologist Eric Erikson once said, and I quote, the social jungle of human existence, in the social jungle of human existence, there is no feeling of being alive without a sense of identity, close quote. I am deeply cognizant of the fact that my upbringing and connections to Venda define my identity and thus my very human existence. Throughout my career, through, so, though my career has taken me to new and distant lands, my connection to uh, this place and its people has only grown stronger and has served as a constant reminder of my journey. As the Jamaican activist Marcus Garvey appropriately phrased this sentiment, and I quote, a people without the knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots, close quote. It is a strange feeling existing between two worlds, one rooted in my past, the other hurtling towards new horizons. Yet, betwixt and between these two worlds, there exists a synergy that has characterized much of my career and undoubtedly will continue to define my path going forward. Despite growing up in the throes of apartheid and amid great uncertainty and discord, we never found ourselves wanting for opportunities. I often reflect on the diversity and transformation Biri demonstrated long before 1994. Arguably, this very experience prepared me for wells and adventures anew. I certainly dreamed big, but as you know, in the context of our country, often the odds are stacked against dreams of that stature. I'm one of the lucky few, and as Mbiri had taught me, the future is in science and mathematics. For those of you not familiar with the history of this school, although South Africa generally fares poorly in these subjects, by global standards, Mbiri stands out starkly as an outlier Mbiri should continue to excel. It should continue to promote people of substance, such as Dr. Nkumereni, the first orthodontist of African descent in South Africa. It should continue to produce business leaders with a kind conscience, like Mr. Arwani Ramaburana, the former CEO of Daimler Financial Services. It should continue to produce thinkers, thinkers of great thoughts, 
like Professor Murongab, the Dean of Science at Nelson Mandela University, and an ex expert in realistic fluid mechanics. Continue to dream and work hard to achieve your dreams. It is impossible until it is done, said Nelson Mandela. Though when I was here, my dreams were big, I never imagined that I will one day hold patents for my inventions, which I do, that I will head up a top university in South Africa, which I have, that I would be on my way to a university of the world, which I am, that I would be tasked by the president of South Africa and Namibia to help conceptualize the national 4 IR blueprints, which I was, that I will be a non-executive director of NetBank, which I was, that I will be one of the leaders of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, which I was, that I, will, I would chair the Africa Health Research Institute, which I did, that I would chair the, Africa, the African Center of Excellence in Internet of Things in Rwanda, which I did, as for me and my family. I leave South Africa to become Under Secretary General of the United Nations as well as Rector of the United Nations University. I am the third South African UN Under Secretary General after Judge Pillay and Dr. Pumsile Mlambunyuka and the first African to lead the UN University. The United Nations University has campuses in Japan, in China, Malaysia, Finland, Germany, Portugal, uh, Ghana, Belgium, Venezuela, New York and Canada. As I carry this important task of leading this university in all these countries, I carry with me context I learned here, the culture of learning and hard work to create a better world. I am truly grateful for the butterfly effect made possible by my start at Mbiri. The Chinese intellectual Jianji Senchang in 600 AD wrote, and I quote, return to the root and you will find the meaning, close quote. This indeed has proven true, though in the coming weeks I will move approximately 20,000 kilometers away. My roots will remain firmly entrenched here. My beginnings will continue to inform my journey. I will tackle global challenges with the lessons of my youth. I will fight for sustainable development that sees pockets of excellence such as Mbiri grow from strength to strength into great stature. I will embody the values that were shaped in this space. My clarion call to those who are in power here today is that we must create a South Africa where an aspirational teenager from the village of Maravue is not seen as one of the lucky few. We must build more schools that encompass the ethos of Miri. The dreams in villages, the dreams in townships are just as valid as those nestled between the suburbs. We should not wonder why our youth dare to dream so big. We should not hope that they strike it lucky. Instead, we should foster an environment that makes a growing uh, that makes it a growing reality as the nigerian poet ben okri wrote in the famished road this is what you must be like grow wherever life puts you down close quote to this i must add with a sense of acknowledgement um, of your beginnings, Diari Wuwa. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.